Giving an I am injection, that can be even more intimidating than your ID or your sub Q. So let's get started. I am injections. I have several things. So this is actually a three milliliter syringe. It has a 25 gauge, one and a half inch needle. You learn your ranges in school. It's usually, it depends for an adult, a one inch to a three inch needle is appropriate. All depending on your patient's size, weight, and what muscle you're accessing. Most of the time when I'm actually teaching patients or giving injections clinically, I use a one inch needle. And so that's what I have gotten um, here to attach to my syringe to give my injection today. I do wanna show you though, that this is an attached needle to the syringe, which makes it quite nice. So you have it all packaged ready to go. But we're gonna put that to the side because I want a little bit of a smaller needle to give this injection. Let me go ahead and wash my hands and I'm using a little bit of hand gel. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put on my gloves. And I have already done all of my six rites. I have checked my MAR three times. I have done my two identifiers and I have checked for allergies twice. I am ready to prepare the injection and give it. So actually I need to get my vial and I am going to choose. Now I am going to give a deltoid today. And so there, watch my other video that shows you all of the areas and how to find those anatomical landmarks so that you give an injection correctly. But this will be my tel deltoid for the actual injection. So I'm going to, I've used my landmarks and found the area. I'm gonna clean my deltoid muscle from inside going out one inch. Like I said, if the gauze is very dirty, go ahead and clean it one more time. While that's drying, I have a, a vial. I have popped my lid off. If it's brand new, if it's a multi-use like this one, it's open. I'm going to take my alcohol, cleaning with my thumb in circular motions around the top of that vial. And as that's drying and the patient is drying, I'm going to go ahead and put things together. So I want to go ahead and open my syringe. This is a three milliliter syringe. I'm going to go ahead and open it and I'm going to go ahead and keep it on its packaging right here so you can see. And then I'm going to open my needle. I don't want this all over the table, so I'll lay it on the packaging knowing that the inside of this packaging was sterile and that tip has not touched anything but the inside of the packaging. I've opened my needle and I'm going to pick up my syringe and this is a lure lock type needle and syringe. So I'm going to just gently screw on my syringe to my needle and I'm gonna go ahead and remove my trash from my area. This has a safety I want to show you that you pull back. It will lean all the way back. So when I'm done, I will engage my safety so that I can protect my patient and myself. I'm actually going to give a half of a milliliter of um, medicine. That is the dose that I've calculated. It's correct. I have my vial ready. I've got my gauze and I have prepped my patient of where I'm, I found my landmarks and I've prepped my patient. So I'm going to pull off my cap. I'm gonna put my cap on the table and I'm gonna go ahead and inject center of my vial of the stopper and pushing my air in. Note I'm never touching the inside of the plunger because that needs to remain clean and not touched because it actually goes into the syringe and can create issues of um, introducing germs and other things to our patient. So actually, I'm going to turn my syringe so I can see the number and I'm going to draw back. Now for this, I see a big, big air bubble. And as I'm drawing back, I'm going to hold the base of my plunger and just push against my actual, I call them finger rests or the phalanges of the syringe. I'm gonna pull back and I've pulled way more than my dose. I'm actually gonna hold my needle and my syringe and I'm going to tap out all the air bubbles 
without bending my needle. And then I'm going to push back up, pushing air up back into the vial. And I should be good. I don't see any more air bubbles. I'm going to pull back, set that to the side. Now I am going to go ahead and flick my syringe one more time, getting out the air bubbles if there are any. I want to gently push the stopper till I get the little bev of fluid and I can see that. And now I'm ready to go give the injection. So I'm right at bedside, but I'm not ready to actually inject my patient yet. So I want to show you this. So I'm gonna move this back and I want to do a scoop method to recap my clean needle. So I'm going to scoop into my cap, lifting up, and then I can snap that back on and I'm ready to go in to set it on my tray, set it up wherever I need to. Now I've already talked to them, I've done all those checks, but now it's time to actually give the shot. So I've got my gauze, and if you'd like to have a Band-Aid open and ready, just don't put them on bedside tables or anything like that because these are considered contaminated dirty, even if you clean them. A lot of things go on top. So I'm ready to give my shot. So I've got my gauze. It's going to go in between. I'm going to uncap my needle. Now the question I always ask my students is, do you want to be stabbed quickly or do you want to be stabbed slowly? Quickly, of course, so does the patient getting an injection. It is a 90 degree dart method. So for the Z track, I want to pull the muscle and I'm going to actually pull with my thumb, going in 90 degrees, big stick, and it goes. I'm going to push gently the medicine in. I'm going to hold, and as I'm drawing the needle back, I relax that skin back, needle releases, I engage my safety, and this is a, a safety like this, so I always just do it against the table or the bed. And I'm going to lock, and I am safe, the patient is safe. There is no massaging for IMs anymore, that is old school, we do not do that anymore. We hold pressure. Once that it has sealed, then you can put a Band-Aid over that if you would like or the patient would like, and you are good to go. So I am injections. Don't, be, don't overthink it, you can do it. I wish you the best.